to say. You got anything? It's going to be cold. It is going to be cold. It's quite nice down here. Lovely. It was a pretty cold start of this morning. We've got some breakfast in us real quick. Smashed our packs full of gear up the hill. This is pretty good going uphill, but looking back down with full packs, it's going to be quite tricky there's a lot of ice here and uh, a lot of the rocks are, are completely iced up but the advantage is a lot of the rocks have been welded together with the ice too so that's a bonus but yeah it's going to be a bit dodgy climbing back down with packs full of meat here's our first nanny tar there it is a pearl of shot there right through the neck exactly where I wasn't aiming <laughs> well I almost almost died about 10 minutes ago 5 minutes ago I'm just holding my hand against the rock there so the camera doesn't shake here I'll take my hand off the rock and have a look so I still got a bit of adrenaline coursing through my body there but, uh, yeah it was pretty close I went for a slide just up around the corner trying to recover an animal and I almost got to it and then let go, went for a bit of a slide, tried to get up again and then my ice axe just cut into the snow and I was gunning it down the slopes my ice wax was cutting and it wasn't getting any grip on anything because the snow was so deep and uh, yeah I managed to snag a tree I got some speed up, and I was flat on my stomach, looked over my shoulder saw a scrub, bit of scrub coming by and snagged it just before I went over the edge so it was bloody awesome it's good, good adrenaline rush so it's good to have something like that happen once in a while just to remind you of how dangerous it is up here in the hills. Smitty saved my life. Talked us into bringing the ice axes this morning. I thought we were just going to go up around the corner, not climb any steep cliffs, but if you've got it, take it. If you don't got it, don't climb any steep bits. Up oh, here's our second tar. Got this one and then another one down around the bottom of the waterfall. Couldn't find uh, the one in the scrub up there, just got a bit steep, bit dodgy. Not the biggest bull I've ever shot. Actually, Smitty shot him. No, I didn't, it was you. Oh, did I shoot this one? You can do that one. I can claim this one? <laughs> I'll just edit that part out. Edit Smitty shooting it in. No weeks, no. No weeks of wound on that one. No. Explains why he ran for 100 odd metres before he carked it. Incredibly tough animal. We'll skin this one, take the meat off him, get back to camp so we can get some wood before it gets dark. Oh, one more tar to recover down the bottom. These, my friends, are mountain oysters. They are bloody delicious. I don't know if they're as delicious in the rutting season as they are out of the rutting season, but I'm going to give them a nudge.
Just want to give uh, Chris from Napo Knives a shout out for hooking us up with this neck knife. It's pretty handy, super lightweight. It just sits there around your neck. Pretty good for caping out animals. Not so good for skinning or butchering meat, but it's also good for cutting salami and cheese on the hill. Cheers, Chris. Napo Knives. Get one. Second day into it, and the clouds start to pour in. We're meant to get some really heavy rain tonight. We're meant to get 30 to 40 millimeters of rain before tomorrow. Uh, it's meant to hit just, uh, just as it gets dark, and then it's going to hammer down all night and hopefully clear up in the morning. We're hoping that we get rain and not snow, because if it snows, we're going to be poked. We get a heap of snow up here with all that moisture. Uh, so fingers crossed. It's going to rain and melt all the snow, and tomorrow there'll be no snow, just rocks and tussock. Here's our last patch of blue sky down there. Better get into it. Right, we're getting some attitude on us now. It's starting to rain. Little kind of drizzle snow stuff. There was a couple in Annie Tar, or a nanny and a kid just above us before, but they saw us and dug it off and I tried to sneak on one with my bow just down there, a bull, but he, um, I thought he'd gone and he must have heard me coming and poked his head out of the scrub and leg, but he's only about 30 metres away, so I probably could have got an arrow away if I was ready, but I wasn't, I thought he'd gone. Wind the brakes. The temperature's dropping and we're into the steep stuff now. There's got to be some bulls and nannies up in these bluffs there somewhere, so we're going to climb a little bit higher, get some elevation. And uh, then we'll just start glass and hopefully find some in that scrub. But it's pretty good. All up there is really good country form. Lots of scrub, lots of feet, and there's heaps of prints around. So they're here somewhere, we've just got to find them. Well, just shot at a bull tar up over here in the scrub. Pretty confident of a hit. But he did take off rather quickly. We look back at the footage and it looks like he jumped at the shot which indicates a hit, and he ran downhill. But now he's gone into the scrub over here, and I've been looking to see if I can see a blood trail, and I can't see one, but I'm not really sure. He didn't see any snow splash up behind him, which would mean a miss, but... There was yeah. no thud either, was there? Nah. I reckon it might be a good idea if I sit here, and um, you walk off, to the other side, right up the top, and see if there's any blood. Yeah, that's mighty fine of you. <laughs> we didn't make it any further up the hill. We reviewed the footage, and uh, turns out Smitty missed the bull with his shot. So, no tar today. We do have a nice cup of hazelnut latte though. Show me a nice cup of hazelnut latte, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? So we're just hanging out in the tent, looking at meat. Shooting shit. Thinking about getting that fire going to dry out. I don't think it's even midday, we've got a long day and a half of sitting in the tent. We do have some good reading material though. We've got, you can like this. The Girl in the Green Valley. Uh, we picked this up from James Scott's woodshed actually. <laughs> Jeez, it wasn't his house, it was his old house. Uh, one of his chopper boys has been reading. The girl in the Green Valley. Uh, feel free to tag whoever you think has been reading this book in, uh, in the woodshed at the hangar in Krangarua. Uh, I'm going to be reading it tonight. A Harlequin Romance. We're sitting in the tent waiting for the rain to clear. 
There's a bit of condensation in here. Have to keep sorting the lens out. And uh, it's just gone southwest. Smitty's looking lovely today. Thanks, bro. Got his beauty sleep. Had a bit of a sleeping, didn't you, bro? I did until someone woke me up. Think you're on bloody holiday two or something? Days, two days in a row. Two days in a row, eh? I know. <laughs> it's rough been out in the woods with the bushmen, I tell you. Up at the crack of dawn, chopping wood, <laughs> having cups of tea, doing the dishes. But uh, yeah, it's just gone southwest. It's blowing his guts out. We've got the fire going, and we're just drying everything out. And uh, uh, there's the fire, and that's why. The lens keeps condensing up because there's heaps of moisture in here from our clothes drying. There they are, that's our drying rack, the old hickorangy drying rack. It's a beauty, alright. Oh, the rain's eased off. I tell you what, it was absolutely bucketing down last night. It was pretty windy too, but where we're camped up under those trees, it was nice and shouted. Uh, the river is going off its chops today. I actually thought it would be quite a bit higher with all the snow melt, but I think the rain you got was short and sharp and uh, it didn't rain all night by the looks of the river anyway. Uh, I expected it to be up around here somewhere. But it's melted a lot of the snow, which is bloody fantastic, because that means we won't have to slip and slide our way up the hill in search of a tar. Uh, it could have melted a bit more, there's fresh snow at the top, but that's alright, it's going to look pretty primo in the in the photos with that snow on the top of the hills. It hasn't stopped bloody raining yet. It's forecast to blow up today. But uh, fingers crossed that it'll all clear up nicely. This afternoon we'll get out for a shoot. We'll go out for a hunt anyway, even if it doesn't clear up. But it's good to see all that nice green moss back on the rocks again instead of snow and ice and crap everywhere. It's mid-afternoon. The rain has finally stopped and the sun's coming out. Oh, thank you quite that carried away <laughs> we did some knots tied some knots what else did we do chewed, oh, the, fat. chewed the fat ate some tar testicles there's heaps of water coming down I'll tell you what it's a heap easier traveling over this country when there's no snow and you've got free arms in it mate. oh it's great how do you rate that system oh it's excellent even just coming up here both hands are free you've got nothing over your shoulders slipping around it's great gives a 360 yeah, all the way around bro all the way around that's it nice try to make it look real digital like we're, oh. we did it all computer generated <laughs> <laughs> maybe in two years when i got all the toys just give you guys another 360 of the lovely nature again look at that stomping grade five white water down there probably can't see that in the gopro but that river is charging down the valley all right let's go we're just going up to the head there now we're going to make our way up over these rocks this red lichen and moss and stuff on them and look at all the nice little native plants and look at the mountains and the trees and the rivers and hopefully look at some tar and maybe shoot one or two see out there we've been going for about 40 minutes it's been pretty steep now it's about to get a lot steeper we can't go that way we have to go up There's bluffs starting here that go all the way along there so the only way to go now is straight up this hill Nah. Give you an idea how steep it is. Leg up. Steep as bro. Bros before hoes. <laughs> it's getting steeper again. Got the axes out. The slide in this stuff could be deadly. Deadly. Once you take off, it's really hard to stop. Especially with the bits of snow and the and the ferns and whatnot. It's not too exposed because you've got ferns, so. Just a lot quicker than ice axe. Hoe your way up the hill. I'll tell you what, these gloves have been bloody awesome. Not quite monkey scrub. We're through the monkey scrub. Now in the, I guess you call it monkey jungle. In the bush, but it's, it's really steep. Ah, oh, the Kia. Magnificent alpine parrot. It's the only alpine parrot in the world, I believe. Pretty rambunctious creatures. They like to tear shit up if you leave it lying around. 
Hopefully they don't pay a visit to our camp. But uh, we spied a bull over on that ridge line over there. It's just a young one. There's a nanny and a kid up on the peak. And then over the other peak we spied a really good bull. But we don't know if he can recover that one. So we'll just leave him there. See if we can find one that's a bit closer that we can sneak in on. Look at that view. We've only seen one, two, three, four bulls today in all the different bluff systems. We've had a really good look. We've seen two nannies on their own, and then that one had a bunch of, what do you have, five nannies with them? Five nannies, I think, yeah. So pretty dismal, actually. We climbed right up really high, right up uh, opposite the glaciers. Well, actually, we were pretty much on a glacier. Not quite, we were damn close. There was glaciers below us in that other valley, and uh, we saw a bull just below us before in the scrub and we were going to come down. I was going to try jump on top of him and wrestle him to the ground, hoping that the video would go viral. But he buggered off and then we saw this one legging it down the side of the slip. Uh, he must have seen us first. Bit of a miss there, Smitty. Just high, just high. Yep, it was a miss. Straight over the top of him. It was a good miss though, wasn't it, as yep. far as misses go? That's right. And he barreled on down the bottom of the hill, never to be seen again. It's amazing. We'll show you how steep it is when we're walking down that stuff. And uh, him and his nannies were just bolting down it, full tilt. So we're coming down the side of the slip. <laughs> we can see where the animals have cut into the forest. And we've gone about 20 metres in the forest and all of a sudden, a bull tar just leaps right over the top of my head. Takes two bounces, leaps right over the top of Smitty head. Smitty could have bloody grabbed it if he was a bit quicker. <laughs> Did a couple of bounces, leapt out into midair, and just disappeared from sight. We don't know where he went. We're looking out in the slip here. We can't see him up the slip. We can't see him down the slip. He did a bit of, a bit of a disappearing act. He must have just hit the slip running and bolted downstream and around the corner before we could see him. But uh, it was bloody exciting. I literally had to do poos straight after it happened. I, <laughs> I damn near shat myself. <laughs> it was close. That's probably the closest I've ever come to shitting myself. Man, I almost had him by his foot. I reached out and tried to snag him as he went by, but he was about half a foot above me. Goodness knows what I would have done if I'd caught him. <laughs> he probably tumbled to my death. Knocked Smitty off his feet. Crikey. Now we've got to go negotiate downstream around the corner. Hopefully we can get back to camp without getting bluffed. Full on. Pretty full on, man. I've never seen anything like that. I thought I was dead. Come straight <laughs> over the top. I just uh, ducked the cover. And I didn't even see where he went. I don't know if he went up or down or... Fuck. Awesome day. Waiting for Stu. Look at our meat. <laughs> Do you like that one, bro? Oh, yeah, it was a kadoozy. That was great. It was good. How's that for a setup? We nailed it! starting to argue about shit. We've been up here for a week now uh, and we've discovered that there's a mouse in our tent eating the cheese. Can you see that? Those little holes where that little bastard's been nibbling on our cheese. So um, Smitty's going to do a, a poo check in the muesli. I'd say that's reasonably poos free. What's your opinion on the mouse poo situation? No feces in there. Feces, that's a, a, a politically correct word for it. So grandma doesn't shit herself when she watches my videos. <laughs> <laughs> he said poo's on camera! <laughs> <laughs> that's right, and I'm probably going to say it again, grandma. <laughs> ah, it's starting to bloody cloud in. Well, we slept in today, got up at 7 o'clock. 
and the clouds rolling in, damn it, which is my, what may be a good thing because it frosted last night, so all of that froze in the creek beds, all of that snow in the creek beds would have frozen up and uh, it would be quite tricky climbing up to where we want to go hunting. But uh, fingers crossed that clouds mounted off some of the ice off the rocks. What brand is that? Under Armour. Under Armour. I can smell Smitty from here and I'm upwind, so if you want to smell nice for the ladies up in your tar blocks, don't buy an underarm. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Moisture wicking, um, what do you call it? Shirt. Yeah, there you go. Early start this morning. Bit of a hoar frost, which is going to be a bastard because we're going to have to be. It's going to be tricky to walk. It's beautiful, isn't that lovely? Look at those ice crystals. Can you see that in the camera? Maybe I should turn it. Oh, look at that. That's marvellous. But it is going to make slippery going up the rocks, maybe. These boonies have actually got quite a bit of grip, so maybe the hoar frost will make these sons of bitches grip to the rock better. All right, we're not going to shoot the tar talking around yakking about it, are we? No. All right, we spotted a bull and a bunch of nannies on that hill opposite us, and we've just had a real sketchy climb up the side of here. Really exposed, not many handholds, grabbing onto bits of fern and small trees to haul ourselves up. And we've reached the crux. We've just got to get across this little patch of snow. It's still steep around the corner, but it's not super sketchy. I mean, if, if we, oh, it's ice, there you go. This is a kind of a section where if you slip and start falling, you won't stop. You'll go all the way to the bottom to your death. So it's pretty, it's pretty dodgy. And now uh, the problem with this ice here, it could just release when we're halfway across it and just send us to bogging down the hill. We don't have a bloody rope or harnesses. I do have a rope at camp. It's always at camp when you bloody need it. I didn't see us doing anything this sketchy today, but we're up here. Um, fucked if I'm climbing back down the hill. <laughs> we can't go down anyway. <laughs> we can't go down. We're committed now, so we got to just man up, finish climbing, we'll set off the EPIRBs and wait for the rescue helicopter, which ain't going to happen. We're going to keep climbing up, get the ice axes out and hoe into it. So. Um, any comments? No, no. I'm packing myself. No. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme. <laughs> I'd just like to say that Smitty was actually leading the way up here. Uh, if I die today, uh, family, you can blame it on that fellow over there. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta fucking make sure you feel alive. Oh yeah, think positive. Shoot high, at least you won't shoot yourself. Oh no, aim high, at least you won't shoot yourself in the foot. Meanwhile, the nannies are just around the corner watching us. I mean, where are those silly bastards going? They can't get up there. Even the tar wouldn't come up here. <laughs> Actually, I'm on a tar bed right now. The shit. I'm nestled in amongst the tar shit. It's quite a nice little overhang for a storm nice to know if the weather does shit itself we've got somewhere nice to shelter till we get rescued all right should we do it uh, yeah. <laughs> well we sure as hell aren't going back down there I don't think I've, I've ever been so happy to see mountain toucher in my life meanwhile across the other side there's seven nannies Up in those bluffs, well within shootable distance, probably only a couple of hundred meters from here to there. But no bull, seven nanny, no bull. We did see a big bull over there before we started climbing. <laughs> oh, there's the bull, he's looking right at us. Quick road, get ready. Whoa, he's coming, he's, he's reloaded, he's just down below where he was. Oh, uh, Smitty can't see it, he shot it and it's run down the hill and it's lying right in the, in the scrub there. I'm going to send one over there, see if I can nail him. Cut. Pretty solid sounding thump, wasn't it? See you moving on the camera? No. I thought he's moving now. There he is, just middle top of shot. Really hard to spot, he's on a real steep bit. There's plenty of scrub to grab onto to grab him, so hopefully we'll be able to grab him and turf him down the hill. Herein lies the problem. We've just shot a bull. Over there, he's down. We've also <coughs> shot a nanny, which is also down over that little horizon somewhere. We've taken photos 
of the bull. We've still got to take photos of the nanny so when we get down there we kind of know what area we are and we can get them. Uh, the bull's in the sunshine over there but we're only halfway up the big steep hill. I'm going to turn around and point the camera down. That's the big steep hill we're halfway up. We've still got to get to the top and uh, we might be able to traverse across there but it's pretty sketchy and we don't know what's over that ridge. I imagine it bluffs out again so we've got to get off this hill first and then either go back down behind us down to the valley or maybe down this valley um, I'm thinking probably behind us and then down to the bottom because we've already been over there so we know we can we can negotiate it <laughs> bloody hell <laughs> there's a nun and a nanny right up the top of that hill there but we're, we're just going to leave here alone because bugger if we're going to climb all the way up there to get him Kia come for a visit behind us so uh, yeah, we've got to climb up and climb down and then climb back up again. It's going to be a long day. By the time we get over there, it's probably going to be mid-afternoon. Skin the bull, cut the meat off it, back to camp, and then we fly out tomorrow. Uh, we've been in here for six days now. Once again, never been so happy get into a patch of snow tow truck. Meanwhile, my old mate still down there, hasn't made it up the last crux, another crux. And I'll just tip it down the hill so you can see how steep it is. This is pretty dangerous stuff. Look at that. That's really hard snow and that means if you start sliding, you just gain speed so fast and she's all over. It's pretty hard to self arrest too. I said, I hope my missus doesn't see this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty happy that we found um, terra firma, so to speak. Like I was getting sea legs up on the side of that hill for a while. My old hands were shaking. Don't look down, don't look down. But you can't help it. Halfway up, you've got to look down just to remind yourself how dodgy it is. Like, oh my God. That's all right. It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. You just can't be scared. That's right. If you let yourself be scared, then you got to fall. Words of wisdom. Always think positive. <laughs> Every time I get Smitty to walk past the camera to record something, he fucking falls over or slides in his <laughs> ass or kicks a rock in my face or dislodges snow from a bush that nails me in the face. <laughs> I swear to God he's doing it on purpose. <laughs> there she be. There she had half decent set of hooks on him. He's got some whopping, whopping great testicles. They'll make a nice tobacco pouch for my mate Wicker. Smitty's just down below there. He climbed up to that other point over there to spot me to recognize the area shooting the bulls one thing finding it in the scrub when you get over there is another but we had pretty good landmark to go off we had that big bluffy rock right there and then we had this dead tree just to my right here too so pretty good come over here wasn't that much of a climb we also shot a nanny further down around the corner which is great because i wanted another nanny skin and that gives us some even there's some more meat to take out, which I'm bloody stoked about. Smitty's probably just below me now. There he goes. Oh, there he doesn't go. I'll get my pack and then kick him down the hill. See if I can give Smitty the fright of his life. Fire in the hole! Grab him, Smitty! How big do you reckon he is? Uh, he's just over 12 by the look of that. Beauty. Beauty. Happy as Larry. <laughs> Comments? None really. What about yourself? Uh, bloody good to be alive after the <laughs> dodgy <laughs> climb from hell. <laughs> the hill from hell, we'll call that one. Yeah, no, it wasn't very nice. It was pretty sketchy, I think, but... All's well that ends well, eh? That's right. No risk, no gain. No pain, no gain. 
Right, while Smitty's working, skinning the bull, I'll get the uh, the hillbilly going. Get the hillbilly going, and we'll have a nice cup of tea, a latte actually, a hazelnut latte. The only shit thing about having a moustache is that it filters out the cream from your latte when you're in the mountains hunting tar. <laughs> Damn it. Cut. Uh, we've got another small problem here. We've got packs full of meat. And we've still got a whole bunch of crap here to jam back into our pack. So we did a gear dump down here before we went up to get the uh, to get the tar. So it's going to be a tight squeeze back to camp. The camp's not that far though. It's only down where that valley is. Hit the main river and just around the corner, which is primo. Holy crap! We're loaded to the nines. After you, dear sir. Oh, it's so, so nice not having a thin layer of bloody ice over all the rocks. Makes the going a lot quicker. Those catabatic winds have melted all the ice and got rid of the moisture on the rocks, which is primo. And so we come back to our frozen camp in the permanent shadow. I was going to do an awesome time lapse of taking down the tents, but uh, you guys know how all that works, so I'm just going to take a few quick shots of the taking down of the tents. How did you, your new Mac pack treat you, buddy? Yeah, it was great. Real good. Nice and warm. Didn't leak, plenty of room, pretty bomb proof I think this tent so. What model is it? It's the Mac Pack Plateau. The Mac Pack Plateau. Looks like it can handle a storm alright doesn't it? Oh, well, pretty standard. James has turned up an hour early. There's the machine. And uh, we've kind of got camp half packed up. We've just got the big tent to pack up. We were just having a cup of tea. <laughs> He's, uh, oh, he shut his machine down, that's great. Maybe he'll come over for a nice cup of tea with us. Uh, yeah, that happens all the time. An hour early, half an hour early. 